Hi! In this video, we'll explore what a computer peripheral is, what they're used for, and how to install them on your computer. We've taken a look at some of the internal components of a computer, such as the motherboard and the CPU. These components will get your computer up and running, but there are many more devices that are necessary to be able to communicate with the computer. External components are also called peripherals. A computer peripheral is any external device that is connected to your computer. This would be a mouse, a keyboard, a monitor, and so forth. The device has to be installed on the computer so that the operating system knows how to communicate with it. Let's play a game. We're going to see how many peripherals you can recognize. Feel free to pause the video on each slide and take some guesses before we go ahead and explain each device. Bonus points if you know what the peripheral is used for or how it works. Take a few seconds and see how many of these you can name. Do you know what their purpose is? Here we have a printer, an external CD DVD drive, and a scanner. Many peripherals have come a long way since they were first designed. Most printers now also have the option to scan or copy a document as well. Also, this external CD DVD drive wasn't too necessary until laptops started to be designed without having them built in. Since Wi Fi speeds have increased, many programs and applications can now be downloaded from the internet instead of using a CD to install them. Here we have a virtual reality headset, a monitor, and a barcode scanner. This VR headset wouldn't be the one that you place your phone inside, but rather would connect to a device such as a computer. Even if it connects through Bluetooth, which is wireless, it's still considered a peripheral. A monitor is included in most computer setups, and the barcode scanner would most likely be used in a grocery store or a small business setup. How about these? Some may be familiar, but others could be a tad tougher to guess. The top row probably wasn't too difficult. A computer mouse can connect by wire or by Bluetooth. Same thing goes for a game controller and a keyboard. You might only use a game controller for a specific reason, but the other two are used in most computer setups. These might have been more difficult to guess. A trackpad or touchpad is a sensor that can translate motion by either a special USB pen or your finger. We've learned a bit about external hard drives. These can be used as portable storage devices if your computer setup needs more memory. The signature pad might still be used in some businesses today, but many have been replaced with a touchscreen or a touchpad. Okay, last chance to see how many peripherals you can name. How many of these do you know? Did you know that a computer microphone actually works by converting sound waves into electrical signals? It's pretty amazing how that can be done. A headset allows users to work hands-free while still being able to talk and listen, and a projector can reproduce the display of a computer screen and project it on a much larger screen. Many times these two peripherals are built into a laptop or a computer monitor, but they're available as external peripherals as well. A webcam captures video and speakers generate sound. There are of course a ton more peripherals that can be connected to a computer. I encourage you to look up a few and see what's available for your device. For a peripheral to work, it needs to be installed on the computer. During installation, all of the necessary files are created or moved onto the computer so that the operating system knows how to communicate with the peripheral device.